right, welcome back to Allen High School's discussion of acid-base chemistry. And we're jumping into some stoichiometric calculations of strong acids, strong bases, or any acid plus any base would be a stoichiometry. And I'm going to be using that SSS method, start, shift, and stop. So we're going to write our reaction. We have HNO3. This should be, let's do it for, in your notes, page seven. And this is a strong acid, so I'm going to put a single arrow. I'd get H plus plus NO3 minus. Now, it gives us our starting amount is 0 0.26 molar. Now, I'm gonna do this long. Some of you won't need this. This is overkill for some of you. Um, but you wanna somehow show me that one to one mole ratio. Now, this goes 100%, so the shift is to lose 100% of this acid. So that's plus 0.26, that's plus 0.26. Not really going to care much about that nitrate. That goes to zero, that's by definition what a stoichiometry is. So that's 0.26 molar. We need to calculate the pH. pH is equal to minus the log of our H plus and we'll get 0 0.59. Now I had two sig figs here, and the numbers after the decimal are significant in the pH. So that's two sig figs. All right, now let's try the next one. This is one of the few times you're going to see a mole ratio of different than one to one. So we've got strontium hydroxide, group one, group two hydroxides, except beryllium and magnesium are strong. So that's going to go 100% to strontium ion plus two hydroxide ions. So put our start in, 0.298 molar. None of this, none of that. We're going to shift till it's all gone, plus 0.298. Now this is where we have to uh, engage that magic mole ratio. There's a two here. So I have to multiply this by two. So this is plus 0.596, because it's two times the 0.298 here. This went to zero, 0 0.298, 0 0.596. All right, now we wanna get pH. Well, we have OH minus. This is the way I like to do it. There's other ways, as you saw in your inquiry. We could go from OH minus to the concentration of H plus, because OH minus times H plus is equal to, remember KW, one times 10 to the minus 14th. And then once we have H plus, we can get pH. I don't know why I like to do this, it just seems to be fewer keystrokes. So POH is minus the log of my OH, that little p in front says take minus the log of the value that follows. So pOH is 0 0.225. Have three sig figs here, so I get three places after my decimal point. Now, to find my pH, we employ the relationship that pH plus pOH is equal to 14. So 14 minus 0 0.225 will give us our pH of 13. Remember that's magnitude, not measurement. 13.775 would be my final pH. Now, there really is a much faster way to do that. But again, these frameworks I think can really help you problem solve as you're trying to find direction. So another way to do that is to do stoichiometry just like what we did uh, in pre-AP chemistry, which is to use the magic mole ratio. Or what we did in tools of the trade, we would do ions within. So I have 0 0.28 moles per one liter. You want to label what you're talking about or you might get lost in your journey. Now, I want to eliminate moles of strontium hydroxide, and I want moles of that ion within. 
and that's a 2 to 1 ratio. Do that, get your pOH, get your pH, and you are good to go. All right, let's try another one of the stoichiometries. Don't forget your acronym, DSE. Whenever you add volume to volume, you have to voom voom. So when I add the strontium hydroxide to the hydrochloric acid, both of them are diluted. So my strontium hydroxide is V1 is 43, V2 is 0 0.25. Now volume 2 is the sum because we mixed these two beakers. 43 plus 58 times molarity 2. And if I did my algebra right, big if, always check, I get 0 0.1064 molar strontium hydroxide. Now we're going to do the same thing with our HCl. Our HCl initial was 58. Its molarity initial was 1.5. My total is 58, 40, 53 plus. Sorry, 43 plus 58, because we added the two solutions together. So remember, doc saves everyone. So the doc, the dilution is done. What is nice about AP is they will walk you through some of the steps. Now, you do have to understand some chemistry here. You can't blindly go through steps. This is a strong base. This is a strong acid. Any acid mixed with any base is going to neutralize until the limiting runs out. So we have a stoichiometry. You have an acid plus a base, you have a stoichiometry. So let's move on to the S here, the snaky S, so we vooms rice. <laughs> I don't know how much that helps you or just boggles your mind. Not sure. So we have strontium hydroxide plus HCl, 100% till one runs out. Whether these are strong or weak, an acid plus a base is 100% stoichiometry until my limiting runs out. And in neutralization, we always get a salt plus water. Okay. So we just calculated this. The strontium hydroxide was 0 0.1064. Four. My HCl was 0.8614. Man, and we better balance this puppy because you saw in that last test all the trouble it can cause when this isn't balanced. Okay, now hopefully you can see that this is my limiting because I need twice as much HCl, which is roughly 0 0.2, 0 0.22. You know, and I have way more than that. Now, if you mess up here and pick, the wrong one, um, you'll get a negative value. It will be illogical, as happened on our test, sadly. And then you'll know that there's a big mistake someplace. Now, I had to double it here because I need 2HCl for every one. So my limiting, by definition, goes to zero. I have 0 0.6486. This is plus 0 0.1064. And the water just joins all the other water um, that's part of our solvent. Now, again, you have to start wrapping your mind around some basic chemistry. Identify this. This is a strong acid. Identify. What do you have? Think about it. There's no blind mathematical path to follow. You have to think about what you're doing in each step. This is a soluble salt. Now, this is, you know, I'm hesitating to figure out the best way to tell you this. This is a neutral salt. Trust me for now. We're going to find out that not all salts are neutral. But those are pretty tough problems, so we're going to do those at the end. So we're going to pay no attention to that, but we better pay big ol' attention to that HCl. Now, we have then another stoichiometry in here, all right? Um, we have that HCl remaining. 
HCl is going to break up to H plus, plus Cl minus. It's a one to one mole ratio. Honestly, I would not mind a bit if this was your work. But you have to tell me somehow in your work that you know that's a one to one mole ratio. Whether you have to do the whole start, shift, stop, or you multiply by the mole ratio, I'm not sure. But you have to tell me somehow. I've given you, this is now the third way. So I've got 0.6486 molar H plus. So my pH is equal to minus the log of that, 0 0.6486. I'm keeping lots of values here. I don't round until very near the end. I would have kept a lot of this math in my calculator, frankly. I get 0 0.19. Now, I did that to two sig figs because when you go back to your original problem, I have two sig figs everywhere, and we didn't have any addition or subtraction that would have altered that. All right, so that gives you some stoichiometry of these. I'm going to go ahead and sign off for now because we're going to do a titration. If you can do a titration, you can do almost any kind of problem that we devious teachers. We stay late at night up until 2, 3 in the morning thinking, ah, what can we do to mess with their minds? Well, I'm going to start with titration. That's unusual. Most people wouldn't do that until the end. I'm going to start with it, but I'm going to wait till our next video. So until then, this is signing off.